How do you get thousands of keywords scraped from a single keyword? That's what we're going to talk about. My name is Ryan Borden. Let's get started. Before we get started, I'd encourage you to sign up for my free tips. You're going to get free tips, full link tutorials, guides, checklists, and I'm even going to show you how to make money using Scrapebox. It's all for free. You can sign up right now with the link up here in the right hand corner or the link down in the description. So go ahead and pause the video, sign up, and then come back. And then let's get started. So the keyword scraper is up here in the upper left hand quadrant of the main scrape box window. I've got some other videos on a lot of this other stuff and like all this stuff up here, like up here is what I'm talking about. The scrape function here under scrape keyword scraper is its whole own entity. And it does pop a new window, so if you happen to have an issue with it not popping up, it might be being pushed behind this main window here, or it could be a pop-up blocker or security software. But anyways, so we can see that there's a lot of different sources we can scrape from. Uh, in fact, it keeps going as we roll. And then um, there's the legend that tells us what's going on, and then a whole lot of options down here, which we'll talk about in a moment. As far as getting started, let's just have a quick look and type in like the word car, for example. And then... I'm going to pick some sources. We don't really need to do all these. Let's just do the popular ones. Google, Yahoo, maybe Amazon, YouTube. That, anyways, that's enough. So we can do that. Um, a couple things we need to look at. We can post frick post fix and prefix our keywords with different things and I'll explain that why you want to do that in a moment we can clear it out um, and then down here is just different Google so like google.com is the default engine when you use Google suggest you do have the option to use other ones there's a few that come in and you can click edit and build your own uh, as you can see you can use here the Google uh, uh, I forget what this one was I built it in there um, that's obviously Russia and Australia and then there's different things you can do here this one is I think Brazil with Brazilian language and so on and so forth so you can get from other Googles and so the last thing we need to talk about before we start is this level here so we can do four levels deep level one is just we're gonna go and get all the suggestions for the word car and so let's just go ahead and hit start and see what happens we can seal our keywords here so obviously it figures finished out with cargo pants and then car wash Ann Arbor because um, I'm over here in Detroit and Ann Arbor is a city near Detroit here and so on so car wash near me Caroline I don't even know what this is Pokemon cards because CAR is part of it Google doesn't know what you want and not all these obviously came from Google Google is much better at interpreting intent uh, Amazon obviously is good at interpreting buying intent but Google is better overall just intent so you can play with this and see what sources you like through here but we can see these if we had chosen level two here the keyword scraper would automatically feed in cargo pants women brandy carly car all these keywords it would shove them back over here and scrape all of the results for those as well we can go up to four levels deep so it just keeps grabbing results and then scraping for all of those and so if we get to four levels we can actually really quickly see right now we have 42 results if i do four levels deep we can see that it's just going crazy here and getting all kinds of keywords um, and you can see the keyword speeds while it does it and allow me just to pause the video while this finishes and it's been going about just under a minute total and I we can let this keep going and we can get into an absurd amount of keywords but you can see that we have a ridiculous amount of keywords and it gets longer because as you start putting in so Cardinals may have come up on round one and then Cardinals baseball in round two and Cardinals baseball tickets on round three and all all inclusive gets added on round four or whatever you see the point so we get into longer keywords is what happens and so this is a, I don't even know what this is this is 4500 keywords it's a lot of keywords and we spent 60 seconds on getting those keywords now depending on what you're doing you might want to remove some you can obviously apply some different filters under the remove section so we can do um, keywords that contain keywords that don't contain so if you wanted to you know um, plus or minus list there positive negative you can do remove keywords from that contain entries from so that's a list so you could put like a list a text file one per line like car boat truck is the ones you want and then you obviously don't want stuff like cardinal or whatever or whatever you're doing I don't know if you have negative words same thing here not containing and containing so that actually loads a whole list then we can remove selected keywords so like I can pick these I can hold down control or whatever or hold down shift and get a range 
and then control and remove the selected keywords and we'll take out just those. I can remove original keywords from the result. So car, um, it always gets shoved back over there. So if I remove original keywords, then it'll you know take it down by one. So if you could obviously put in a whole list here, so maybe you have a thousand or a hundred or twenty seed keywords to start with, and then you wind up with like ten thousand regular words. You want to take out the seed keywords whatever depends on your level obviously and that sort of thing and then you can actually remove interest entries with more than x words so that means if you only want um, up to three words long obviously this one is five it's going to go away so let's just do that as an example and put in word count no more than three and boom that drops us down to only three word or less so a lot of filtering options um, there is the option to transfer it back to the left side here, which shoves all those back over here. So even if you did four rounds and then you applied some filters that you wanted, shoved them back over here, you can do another four rounds. You can get into, I mean, we could generate a list of a million keywords here without, obviously there's going to be some duplication as we go along that we'll have to remove duplicates. I mean, this is removing duplicates automatically, but my point is, is from one scrape to the next, there'll be some duplication there, especially as we use multiple engines. But again, it's going to remove dupes when we're done. So, but we can get a million keywords really fast. So that's really how that works, like, at a basic level. Now, as we jump into, so like, if you needed to understand the keyword scraper, you can stop the video now and we're good. Um, if you want to get a little bit more in depth, there's a few more things you can do here. We can actually kind of a side feature I would say is that we can do a domain lookup so we can actually see if like um, Carvana stock forecast.com is available if cars cartoon movie.com is available and that sort of thing so it'll go in with dot com dot org dot net and dot info um, we can include hyphens so we hyphenate everything as an option or not and then we can just start that and so that's super useful if you need like some you know obviously for SEO or for relevance business if you wanted some stuff around some keywords you could get a gr you could quickly check a lot of keyword rich domains there and then of course export options when we're done I won't go into those as that's pretty basic then we can also do lookup from the original keywords so this is the scraped keywords if we just load in if you have a list of like a thousand keywords you want to load them in you can look up those as well for domains so Obviously, when we're all done, there's export options, which is really basic. We can save this to a file, or I can export it back to the main keyword memo here. By default, bear in mind, this is kind of a separate tool. So it doesn't send everything back to the main scrape box window here, unless I specifically choose to do that, and we can see them pop up over here. So those are basically everything there. Use proxies is pretty basic. If you load in proxies here, in the main window down here where my mouse is and then you click use proxies and come up here and click use proxies I don't think you think you actually have to click use proxies in here but I can use proxies that could apply to some sources you might find that if you if you load in a thousand keywords here and go four levels deep Google or any of these sources could block you because that's too many requests from your local IP obviously you saw I pulled up like 4,000 there with no issue and I've done a lot like it varies based on the source and your IP and your history and that sort of stuff, but I've done hundreds of thousands. And, you know, I don't know when you're going to watch this. Google always gets tighter. Yahoo gets tighter. They all get tighter as far as what they want to give out from one IP address. So back 10 years ago, I could do, like, there was, an, like, I never used proxies. I don't even think the proxies option was there because you could get millions. And so now, obviously, you may need proxies if you get into millions. But, again, it's going to vary, but you can use proxies if you need to. So now that we've basically talked about all of this, let's talk about this prefix and postfix because that's actually a really useful tool. And so what's going on here is if we have, when we're scraping from Google, for example, they limit results, and as every search engine does, to a max of 1,000 URLs. So they often soft cap around 300 nowadays as well. And this is 2022, maybe a year or two ago, they started soft capping really around 300. So even though they might say 40 million results found, if you go in a browser and click next and try to get to past result 1000, they literally remove the next button and they won't display anymore for you. They just like to post big numbers. In fact, they even change the numbers as you go deeper in. So sometimes it'll say 10,000 to start and you go to page three and it says 143 total results. I'm not going to get into that, but the point is that 
if you're going to get a max of 300 from Google and other engines, which may even be less, then you and you want to scrape up, I don't know, a million or two million or a hundred thousand, whatever results, then you one need a big keyword list because you've got to be able to scrape from them. But let's say you all want it around like the car niche, right? So how are you going to do that? Well, what you can do is you can put in your keyword and then you can just post fix and prefix it. So you can prefix it with an asterisk, which means that anything before the word car, and I'm not going to go into too deep here. You can go Google how search operators work, but that means like anything car. So blue car, red car, anything that Google wants, the asterisk will stick in there before car. You can prefix with A to Z. So now I have A car, B car, C car, that sort of thing. And then we have the asterisk version in there. So it can be anything that starts with the word P, then any other word plus the word car. Then I can prefix with one to nine and so on and so forth. So the search result has to include that number. Then I can prefix with user input. So whatever you want, I don't know, I don't know I'm just making up nonsense. And we can see that it puts it all in there. And then I can post fix, I can append. So here, let's just clear this and go back to it because we're getting out of control here put in car, you, you get the point. It sticks it on the, the back end of it. Post fix is at the end of it, right? And so what happens is any word that starts with the word M and that sort of thing. What happens is this forces Google to return different sets of results from their database. So if they have 40 million results and they want to give you 300, now you can get 300 that start that have the letter S, 300 that have the letter R, 300 Q, 300 P, you get the point. So now we've got, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, so instead of 300, whatever that is, 6,000, I don't know, it's, it, it's thousands and thousands. Sorry, my math isn't that great off the top of my head right now. I think it's like 7,800 or something like that. So that 7,800 results, we're going to call it that, whatever it was, um, instead of 300 results. And then you just remove duplicates when you're done. So uh, here in Scrapebox, there's a remove duplicate URLs when you're done. So that's how you can get use that to get a ton of results. And now, obviously, if I go in here and scrape four levels deep, and then I go appending and prefixing and postfixing a bunch of stuff in here, I might take, I could take the word car and turn it into like 400,000 results, 400,000 keywords, right? And if I do 400,000, times 300, that's 1.2 million. If it works out, it won't always work out exactly, but that's 1.2 million results from Google, remove duplicates, maybe I'm down to 600,000, you know, whatever. It depends on your queries, of course. But, so let's say it is 600,000, that's 600,000. I started with the word car and I was gonna get 300 results. Now I have 600,000 results. Which is dramatically different. So that's how you can use the keyword scraper and kind of how the keyword scraper works. And of course, when you're done, of course, you can save it to file or export it back here and then just close out of it and do what you need to do with the keywords. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.